Next, I would like to create a one-click release to show how it works in connection with digital code signing. Using a description from the Flexera website, I'll give you a synopsis of this technology. Distributing your application via the Internet is easy with one-click install technology. You can offer your customers a seamless, familiar download and installation experience with a single mouse click. With one-click install technology, unnecessary steps such as responding to the Save As dialog and finding the location of the application on their system before installing are eliminated. Using this process, success rates for installations increase significantly. You can customize your one-click install installation to only install files not already present on the user's PC, such as the Windows installer or install script engines, thereby saving valuable bandwidth. That's it in a nutshell. Now let's create one. I'll use the Hello World 1.0 install script project for this demonstration. Here we are. I'll open it, go to the releases view. Now we want to create a new release, so I'm going to bring up the release wizard and go through the pages. This release is going to be one click. Click next, and we need to page through until we get to the internet options page. Now actually here I want to select network image. Now we'll page. Now I want to generate a one-click install, and I want to create a default web page for the setup. I'll click Next, and I'll fill in these pages. The URL is www.wavepointstudios.net. Now for a one-click release, we want to use an SPC file. Install Shield only supports using SPC files to sign media headers in install script projects. So we made an SPC file. Let's go select it. We'll go to Waypoint Studios Code Signing folder. We'll select the SPC file. Now we'll select the PVK file that we made. We'll enter the password. You want to sign the media. See it says requires SPC and PVK. We have that. We want to sign setup.exe. We want to sign files and package. We'll click files and select hello world.exe. Now we just page through and build the release. Let's look at the release folder for this one click release. Now we really don't need auto run INF or megaview.ico, so we could delete those because those are for CD ROM releases. So I'll just delete them. And here are the files we need to run our one click install. To save a bit of time, I'm just going to run this from the release folder. Now what you normally would do is to upload these files to a website and you could run the installation from setup.htm there. To save time for this demonstration, I'm just going to run the HTML file outright. I'll allow the blocked content. Now I'll run the installer. And notice that it says the name is Hello World. And the publisher's Waypoint Studios. If we click on this link, we get our digital signature information. It 
Shows everything is valid. So we can run the installation. That's just my internet security software coming up. Now here's the installer. We'll click next. You're familiar with this, so we really don't need to install it. I'm just showing you it works. The main thing to remember is that with a one-click install, when you sign it, the important thing is when you click the install button, and that little dialog comes up and shows you that it's from Wavepoint Studios. And you can check the certificate and see that it's valid and that you have no problems. Well, that wraps up our demonstration of a one-click install.